all right so hey facebook fam i hope you guys are doing well um so i wanted to share this with you guys first um is i'm going to start vlogging my whole like journey of um getting into nursing school which most of you guys know i just got accepted to nursing school and um i'm gonna be vlogging just the process of everything me you know drug screening all of that stuff bls you know renewing my bs bls license once school starts where class starts you know my study groups all of that like and i'll be putting it here in my nursing journey album so you guys can come along with me in this journey because this is so exciting and it's been a long time coming so with this video um i just felt kind of led to really make a video of just kind of going in a little more detail of just my story and my testimony and how the lord has brought me to this point so i can start off at um when i was a little girl um, when I was young, I've always wanted to care for people. I've always wanted to take care of people. Um, by the age of 15, I started to take care of both of my grandparents. Um, that was when my grandfather got sick. He was caring for my grandmother until he physically, literally, he could not. So I um, started to be um, one of their caregivers at 15. Um, once I got into college, I was pre-nursing at Wayne State for about four and a half years. And throughout that time, I really struggled heavily in my science courses. Um, I was going um, home um, every weekend to take care of my grandparents. Every Thursday night, I would go home till Sunday night. Um, if either of them were in a hospital, I would be at the hospital with them. Um, so I was doing that all while in school and studying while I'm in a hospital and things of that nature. But I really struggled. Um, my anatomy course, um, I felt the first time I took that course uh, second time I got a C I received a lot of C's in my science courses and um, part of it was how I was studying but another part of it was I didn't believe in myself I didn't have confidence in myself I didn't think that I was smart enough to really succeed and um, just with everything that was going on with you know my grandparents specifically my grandfather because his health was really declining um, and so by the time he got on the ventilator he was in a facility because we couldn't have him at home on a ventilator so that was when um, every Wednesday I would go to see him and be there with him and then Thursdays Fridays Saturdays and Sundays I would be there Sunday nights is when I would come back to campus just to give my mother a break because she was working full-time and it was just a lot on her body um, and so I was doing that to help alleviate that all the while still being at home taking care um, of my grandmother as well um, on the weekends um, when I wasn't on campus so um, in 2015 that was when my grandfather passed on January 6 that was two days before my 21st birthday um, so that really was difficult very difficult for me um, so that weighed on my studies around that time I ended up applying to one uh, to Henry not Henry Ford to Wayne State's nursing program and I got denied um, the first time the second time I um, they told me that they would automatically consider my application if they have a seat available that didn't happen so I was denied the second time so here I am going through um, Wayne State pre-nursing um, I received two no's already my first semester at Wayne State I had a counselor who was a black woman tell me to, that I needed to go into another career career because I wasn't black or Arabic and that I would be denied because I was I was black um, had admissions counselor from the nursing department tell me that I need to change my major and go into another field and all of these things and literally my response to both of them was I know what God has called me to do and whether it's here at Wayne State or someplace else I'm going to be a nurse and so um, Throughout this whole time, I believe the Lord was really building up my confidence in myself and really believing what he's called me to do, but also believing that I had the capabilities to do it, that I was capable, that I was intelligent enough, that I was smart enough, that I had the capacity to do it and to succeed. Because I, I really struggled in that, y'all. And I feel like that's something that most people may not want to talk about is just having that self-assurance in yourself and not having like self-doubt. But I had that throughout my whole, basically almost the, the whole time I was at Wayne State. So 
after four and a half years, after being denied um, at the nursing program at Wayne State twice, I'm like, okay, Lord, I've been here for almost five years. I need to graduate, okay? Like, I need to graduate with my degree. Um, so I prayed about it. He gave me peace about changing my major to African American Studies. I was already taking Black Study classes because I love Black Study classes. Shout out to the AFS department at Wayne State. They are freaking amazing, a phenomenal department, phenomenal instructors. Under, um, They're underfunded. We already know why that is but anyway um but i ended up graduating in 2018 with my bachelor of arts in african american studies um with like a three seven or something like that but unfortunately during that time i had another big loss um was my father um and that happened on the same day that i lost my my grandfather papa january 6th two days before my that was before my uh 24th birthday so three years apart so um, I ended up graduating, still grieving both of them and just, just going through it. Um, in 2019, that's when I started my first job at Beaumont and I started working as a certified nursing assistant there. I was there for about a year and a half. I received my training, my CNA training from Red Cross um, in 2015, the summer of 2015. So I had already received my state certification then um, after I did my training I took the, t the state test and passed and received my state certification so I already had that under my belt I just did not utilize that until 2019 so I'm working at Beaumont taking care of mama and I knew I was supposed to go back to school I just didn't know where I didn't know when I'm like God I want to do it in your timing I want to make sure that where I go is where you want me to go and when I'm supposed to do it is when you want me to do it and so I was so fixated on getting my bachelor's. Like I had such a mindset of, I just want to get my bachelor's and then my master's because this whole process is already long enough. And you know, I would have thought I already had my bachelor's in nursing and blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. I was so like narrow-minded that I didn't even consider getting my associates first and working my way up. Because in my head, again, I'm like, that's not what I want. Um, I even had my mother and one of my friends tell me about associates programs and stuff. And I'm just like, I don't want to do that. I want to get my bachelor's. And the Lord had to really check me. And he's like, okay, if I'm really Lord over your life, right? We always talk about, okay, you make Jesus Lord and he's accept him as your Lord and savior, right? We focus on the savior part, but when you make him your Lord, that means your ways are no longer your own. That means what you want, right? If it's not in alignment with his will, you have to submit yourself to his will, but also recognize that his will for you is greater than what you can ever conjure up in your little five pound brain. Okay. So he had to really check me and show me like, Brenda, what if I want you to get your associates? What if I want you to go to this place? What if there's still some things I want to teach in you and, and groom in you and mature in you throughout this whole time? Like you already know what the end is going to be. I showed you what, what, what all of this is going to end up at right you already know that but the process of it you want to dictate and that's a dangerous place to want to dictate the process that god has you in because it's kind of like you want to be your own god and it's like if he's really lord of your life you have to release that control to him and rest in the fact and knowing that what he has for you eyes haven't seen ears haven't heard neither has it entered into the heart of man the plans that god has for you and that there's no good thing that he'll withhold from those that walk uprightly before him people want to just do the first part but it's for those that walk uprightly and i know no i'm not perfect nobody is but i know i love jesus i know every day i strive to live for him to to live a life that is holy to represent him well to love people with the love of the lord to be obedient i, I try my best and every day is a decision to surrender to him but i had to recognize that i have to surrender this thing even our careers ministry uh, jobs that we should or should not, you know, receive where we should stay at. Everything needs to be surrendered to him. So he had to check me. I ended up um, applying to go with Henry Ford. He gave me peace about going there. I ended up retaking my anatomy and physiology class since I um, had a really low grade in that class. So it can make my GPA more um, uh, competitive for the program. I received an A plus in that class. That class is no joke. Okay, if you know AMP, then that class is no joke. So I uh, received an A plus, worked my butt off. Um, but during this time, I recognized I now believe in myself. I, I 
I was able to just develop confidence in myself throughout this whole period of not being in school anymore and coming back to school. The Lord really was working on Brenda and, and just my inner self, you know what I'm saying, to where I no longer operate in self-doubt. Thoughts came, you know, thoughts did come, thoughts still come, but I just cast them down, y'all. You just got to cast down them thoughts that you know is not in alignment with him or who you are in him. Amen. Okay. So let's keep going. Amen. Because I don't want this to be long. I'm already at 10 minutes. So um, received the A+, plus, took the NCLEX, passed the first time, um, applied to the Henry Ford um, nursing program for the fall cohort, which would have been this fall. I was denied. Um, so I'm like, all right, Lord, what are we going to do? He was like, you're going to retake these classes so you can get A. I'm like, okay, babe, we're going to get this A, Lord. I'm like, we, we a team. You know what I'm saying? We a team in this, Lord. Took, um, retook two of the prerequisite classes. We, amen, we received A's, amen. Um, it boosted my GPA from a 3.1 to a 3.7. Um, so I ended up applying again. So I applied again to the nursing program. All right, okay, Lord. Like, I just believe, like, this is it. Like, I'm, like, literally walking by faith at this point. Because I, I was offered a full-time job. And I told them, I'm like, look, I said, I'm getting ready to start nursing school. I cannot accept a full-time job right now. This is why I'm working through Edustav as a sub so I can pick my schedule. This is why I'm working through an agency so I can pick my schedule of when I want to work as a CNA at whatever facility because I need this flexibility, you know, for nursing school. And this is the thing. I trusted God so much that I made sure I started to create the atmosphere that was fit for nursing school. Me, when it came to my job, making sure that I have this, like I was preparing my, the atmosphere of my life for nursing school before even receiving my acceptance letter. That's faith. It's not just believing a thing, but it's you having corresponding actions that is aligning and reflecting what you are believing. That's Bible, y'all. That's Bible. So that's what I did. And um, I just believed. And I ended up receiving my acceptance letter. And one thing my big bro, um, Chris, told me. He said, Brenda, it wasn't your GPA that got you in. It was your faith. There are people, and I know people, they have been denied admissions into the nursing program. Not just, like, just nursing programs in general. They've had 4.0s three point higher GPAs than than myself and they've been denied and here I am right I don't have a 4.0 or 3.9 I had a 3.7 which I worked hard for but it's a it's a it it illustrates how it was God it was God all along this whole time I may have received those no's but that didn't mean that God said no or that didn't mean like, oh, no, I'm just changing plans for you. No, that just meant my child, not yet. My child, just trust me. My child, not this time. But I need you to trust me in this process. So I don't know what situation you may be in, maybe when it comes to ministry, maybe when it comes to a promotion or your career or job, whatever it is. Don't let no's from man dictate how you respond to God and, and, and what he is leading you to do. He is going to pave that path. He is going to open those doors for you. You just need to rely on him and trust him. It's some things that he's probably trying to cultivate in you in this time. And so ask him, what is it that you want me to learn throughout this time? What, what tests do you need me to pass so that I can be better prepared for this thing that you showed me that I'm going to receive or for this season that I'm going to enter in. And so um, that's something that I really did. And I'm so grateful for this whole journey, for this whole process, because I would not be who I am or where I am if it wasn't for it. So, yeah, my journey may not look like everybody else's when it comes to becoming a nurse, getting my master's degree. And I am now OK with it. I wasn't OK with it before because I dealt with comparison comparing myself to other people looking at people that's 22 23 years old and they already a nurse and here i am i've been away to be 28 and i'm starting you know an associate's program but god is like this is your journey this is your path don't compare it to anybody else because it's something specifically that i want you to do for my kingdom when it comes to this and that has nothing to do with nobody else and so i say that to y'all if this applies to you it's something specifically that god wants you to do 
that he has purposed you and anointed you to do for his kingdom. So your path and journey is not going to look like anybody else's. And you have to be okay with that. You have to find peace in that within yourself and stop looking at everybody else. But just keep your eyes and focus on the Lord and what he has set before you. Amen. So I hope this encouraged y'all. I really didn't want this to be long. I'm at 14 minutes, almost 15 minutes. So I wanted to end it here. Um, but definitely like if any of you guys have questions about just my journey or questions about, I don't know, just questions. I don't know. You want to be filled with the Holy Ghost? I don't know. Baptized? I don't know. My inbox is open. All right. Amen. So um, I love you guys. Um, this is not going to be the last you're going to see me because I'm going to be vlogging. And um, I really hope you guys have a great day. Okay? Okay. So, bye.